Man, one thing for sure, you cannot beat sunshine and fresh air. Wow. Hey, Namaskar everyone, how are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're gonna stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, as always, welcome back means we're on another adventure. And that also means that you're gonna to wanna to know a couple of things. You're gonna to wanna to know where we are and what we're doing. So let's start, let's start with where we are. We are in Louisville, Ohio, and that is Stark County. Stark County being named after General John Stark, the hero of Bennington, as they say, for his excellent at the Battle of Bennington way back in 1777. Live free or die, death is not the worst of evil. That's probably one of his most famous quotes. But what are we doing in Louisville, Ohio? I'm going to keep it plain. I'm going to keep it simple today. We're going to walk through one of uh, the county parks. But this park is probably a little different uh, than other parks. This park's kind of spooky. It's kind of grim. But I think you're going to like it. So if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but. Wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malange. So if we go back to the 1900s, and let's kind of focus in on a little bit, we'll talk about the 1930s. We'll stick with the 1930s. There was an infection. There was a disease that was taking a lot of people's lives, and there really wasn't a treatment for it, and that was tuberculosis, also known as TB. So in the video later on, you hear me say TB, that's tuberculosis. Now, tuberculosis was a bacterial infection and it would most of the time it would infect the lungs but it could infect the kidneys it could infect the spine it could infect the brain it could infect any part of the body um, and like i said there really wasn't a, a treatment for it it was nicknamed consumption because it would consume the body now the philosophy, what they thought might be the cure, was a lot of sunlight and a lot of fresh air. That brings us to our adventure here in Louisville, Ohio. To a park? Yes, to a park. And To the Molly Stark Sanitarium. Molly Stark Sanitarium. Now, why is it called Molly Stark Sanitarium? Why isn't it called uh, uh, the John Stark Sanitarium or Stark Sanitarium? That's just, I told you, it's spooky, it's creepy, 
it's just the vibe here um is is grim but it's gonna be awesome we're gonna walk we'll walk around here and check the things out but this is called the molly stark sanitarium because it's named after general john stark's wife molly who was a nurse and she helped out tremendously with her husband's troops during the small uh, smallpox outbreak. So the Molly Stark Sanitarium. Yeah, this, we'll walk around the front now. I told you the philosophy, the philosophy was a lot of fresh air, a lot of sunshine. So if you look at this building, I mean, right off the bat, we didn't walk around it, uh, yet but as you can see all the windows the balconies i mean look where we are okay look where we are now this is this is probably built up from the past but we're in a rural area so you're out you're out in the fresh air and those windows those balconies give out a lot of sunlight and this was open in 1929. It was designed by Albert Thayer. He was an architect out of uh, he was an architect out of Newcastle. Now the whole purpose of this building, I think there was four floors on here. You would they would start at the top. All they, they would be at the top, and and the whole concept was as they got better, they would come down levels until they got to the bottom level. And that would let them walk around outside here. Unfortunately, that cure, that treatment was, was false. And a lot of them ended up going again to the, to the higher floors. But yeah, opened in 1929. Look at this and we'll, I'll walk around. We're gonna walk around and yes, there is a gate around here. Uh, I, I wish we could uh, <laughs> go in some of these spots and we'll talk about that a little later on. We'll talk about that a little later on, but I'm gonna try to get some good, uh, good views for you. Good views for you. Now this was one, one of 25 uh, TB hospitals. Um, in Ohio and this one this one was really specifically for the people of Stark County I think we'll go we'll go around that way we'll walk around the back and we'll end up over here because there's another building over there we can go by and check out as well but look at the look at the ivy look at the vines look at the architecture it's that Spanish revival architecture now we move a little forward in uh, we go into the 50s TB started declining a little bit and uh, the funny thing is is I believe it was 1952 that they not I was gonna say remodeled but they they added on to this building to add more rooms so they could get more people in here. Um, I think they added some different wings to here as, as we can see when we go around here because I think the main part was just this area right there. Um, but they added wings. I think there was a bigger kitchen and such. And uh, yeah, I think one of the things, I don't know I don't know if it was in 1952 they did what I'm about to tell you or if it was originally there. There's tunnels underground here. They're still here, I believe, but that's crazy. There's tunnels. Um, so there was, there was this. There was that building over there, which was the children's uh, hospital part that was over there. There was a, a power plant here. I believe there was a uh, there was a, a staff home or whatever. Uh, so I think there was other buildings here. 
Um, but yeah, there's tunnels underground to get here uh, to, to go to place to place a little faster, uh, like when it's raining and whatnot. But yeah, this, th this vibe here is insane. It's, it's crazy. It's, it, yeah, it's very, very, it's very grim to look at here, especially if you know what this was actually for. Uh, now in 1956, look at that balcony up there. Just look at that. Man, now, now you see, you see the, all the light, you know, it, it's summertime right now. So the sunlight is here. You can see how the light would just get in this building and just light this place up because that's what they would do. They would, they would sit in there, especially on the top levels. They would sit in their chairs and, and, and let that sunlight uh, on them. There's a bird flying over there. Yeah, somebody, now you can tell somebody <laughs> was trying to get in here and they do. And like I said, at the end, we're going to talk, we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit, but, uh, man, is this, man, it's so quiet here too. I mean, there, I think there's a couple people walking around it's it's uh it's an eerie feeling here very eerie feeling but I, that architecture there is so so grand now in 1956 they changed the name to just molly stark hospital now i told you there was a decline in tuberculosis and you know they at man look at look at that oh my god we got to get up there I, I love this architecture oh my god look at look at that look at that facade right there oh my gosh wow man yeah just looking looking right there looking right there it's just it's creepy it's creepy and that emblem up there just look look at the way it's made. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But what they did is they started bringing in non TB patients. Okay. I can't, I can't wait to show you the actual front when we go around it. This is just just amazing. Um but they were letting in uh non TB patients and I think some were, or mo maybe most, or or a lot, whatever, a lot had not mentally disabled, but mental problems. Had mental problems. Um, I know at one time, uh, it was a nursing home. Um, it was a place for alcoholics to come and, uh, you know, stay and try to get treatment for that. Um I think at one point it just held records for I don't know the the the, the county the police department whatever it was but uh, so as a record record office I guess look at those trees look at how creepy that is right Wow yeah this is really I'm always waiting to see you know a figure or something in the windows because you know you know there are spirits here you you darn well know but in 1995 1995 is when this finally closed um and there was talks there was talks about doing this uh making this into apartments and such um and a lot of people a lot of people, oh my gosh, why didn't why don't they restore that and what that with all the asbestos in here and all and that's one of the reasons this closed down, not only because of the decline of TB, because there's a you know was a cure for it and such, but uh it was just it, it was the years of this building, it was, you know, going downhill. So it wasn't safe anymore, it was getting out of date. Look at that oh man yeah like I said I, I think this would have probably been an addition 
you know, an add-on uh, to the hospital. I think that would have been just the main part over there that, you know, that main architecture. And then when they extended, you know, when they added on, this would have probably been the addition area right here. Now the, I want to say 2009, I think in 2009, Stark County Parks bought this for a dollar. You can't even get a taco for a dollar anymore. <laughs> but they bought this for a dollar. And they made this into the, uh, uh, you know, the city or state park, whatever you want to call this. This is, I, I think it's called the Molly State Park is what I believe it's officially called. And uh, their motto is sunlight and fresh air is good for you. So they kept with that motto of, uh, again, grim, right? Uh, but I like it that this is still here and you can walk around it. It's a park. Um, yeah, here we go on this side. Now, if you have been paying attention, you'll notice that there's a lot of boarded up windows and doors on that bottom floor. Holes in the fences. Yeah, look at this area. Just imagine back in the day, you know, I don't know what this looked like back in the day. I, you know, uh, but you're out here in the fresh air in that rural area. So, because that was one of the things, look at the water tower over there. I think over there, there's actually a nursing home or something, a big nursing home over there. I think, I think, but, uh, what it was is, is yeah, when you had TB, you were actually sometimes force forcibly um taken and and just put in confinement you know uh you were isolated from everybody else man yeah see all this stuff that they've been right here look there's a hole right there now every bit of me wants to go in there okay every every bit of me wants to go in there every bit of me Look at that, man. Wow. Look at this. Every bit of me wants to go in here, I'm telling you. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I know for a fact. Now, this place is probably good great for photographers if you love urbex this is probably one one building that is just amazing okay but uh oh man look at this but i know for a fact i know for a fact that this is well patrolled it's well patrolled from the cops that come back here and neighbors uh, that live around this area. Uh, so use that information uh, however you want. Here we are on this side. See, there's a little part, there's a little path that goes over here. You can walk and such. Yeah, oh man, this is last time i was here i did this i mean it's been yeah this is way overgrown from the last time i've been here wow yeah look at that you can tell yeah it's just people come in here there's another hole and uh see there's houses over there where neighbors can watch and stuff like i said i've been back here the last the last time i was here i'm not even joking I was taking pictures and a cop probably came back here probably three, four times 
Hey, patrol. Now, I don't know if they come back here so much. I know in the parking lot where I was, uh, they do. But, yeah, just imagine, you know, what it looked like back there in the early 1900s, mid-1900s. You know, this was probably all, you know, there was probably flowers out here. It was, you know, it wasn't this overgrown and what, but, yeah, there's some more, uh, Man, this is, wow. Look at that balcony up top. That whole thing was a balcony right there. You could walk on top. All the broken windows. Now there has been, there has been, uh, I don't want to say reports, but obviously, you know, there's been some ghost stories. Um, associated with this building i know that people have seen the lights on electricity is not on here no more but they have seen the lights on uh the elevators have been known to go up and down voices of course look at that man wow I don't know if they have security cameras in here anymore. I, I heard at one point they did. Like I said, I'm not one to trespass. I, I have, and I do sometimes. This one I've just known, I'm, it's known that, that they come back here and they check. I wouldn't be surprised if I see one or two uh, during my time here. There's a mushroom. But look at this. This is probably one of my favorite parts. I think this was the uh, this was the main front. I think right here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'll go back a little bit too, so you can see the whole front facade. But you can tell what this what this looked like at one time. Look at that. Almost though, if you look at this from back here. If you look at this from back here, hold on. If you look at, it almost looks like a, a prison, which I'm sure it probably felt like uh, to some. I mean, it was supposed to be a good thing, but uh, you know, I'm sure if you were the one in here, uh, You'd have been scared, you'd have been nervous, and I don't know. You hear stories about, you know, old prisons and nursing homes and stuff, and a lot of bad things happen to them. Now, I didn't hear about the bad stuff that happened here. Uh, but if you worked here, and I know some, I know that reading about this, you know, before, I've known that some people worked here during the TB era. Uh, I know some people that said they worked here during the uh the nursing home and the, uh, the, the whole alcoholics uh thing so if you're watching this leave some comments about this place because i i sure would like to get some insight of what it was like back then but uh ah, somebody's been lighting off fireworks here you know what i'll tell you what though if that would have been a nice uh that would have been some nice photography uh getting some fireworks from behind here or up top but look at that look at that top i would like to go up there and see what that's i would like to walk around on that top top floor wonder what's even left in there now that being said oh look at this that just looks old doesn't it it's a capital fire huh. wow Jeez. Oh, okay, they got the lock here, and this would be the handle that you take off to turn it on with. But uh, what I was going to say is um, I've been in some of these kind of buildings. I've actually been into in Warren St. Joe's Hospital. And I think, I don't know if that's torn down or still being torn down. It was 
gonna be torn down for years and years and years. I've actually went inside it and I just went into the bottom. And seriously, between the asbestos inside, between the mold, the, the dampness, the air quality, and just the stuff falling down, it, it really isn't even that great to look at. Now, I don't know if you went in here. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, if there would be anything to see. I'm sure maybe there's some beds still in there. But I've, I have seen pictures of people that got in here, you know, and... Uh, it's just a, yeah, it's just a mess or it's like the new part and you see a coffee machine or whatever like that. Um, so, you know, unless you were up top in there and like looking at the architecture from out there, that's what I would want to see. But just all the falling stuff and, and stepping over just fallen ceiling tiles and stuff like that. Nah, not really my thing, but it makes good pictures from out here and stuff but yeah i like i see that is rounded inside on that balcony up there okay let's keep walking yeah there's another hole in the fence right there yeah let's keep walking we'll go we'll walk to the uh the children's um building and we can walk around that we, there's not a fence around that one so we can actually like get close to it but yeah, I mean, it, it is, it's a park here and you can come out here and uh, walk. I really like how those vines are going. Yeah, there's the balcony still up there. Yeah, so like I said, when you're doing urbic stuff and there, there's quite a few places that I've been into uh, that I wasn't supposed to, but I, I told you. Let it be known that it does get patrolled out here fairly well. And again, I I know people get inside here. Um, I, yeah, just use that information as you will of what I just told you. Yeah, but it is pretty, it's a pretty nice sized building. And then we'll go around this way. Well, this was probably the front. Yeah, this would have been the front over here, but so we were on the back, but kind of same, same style. And then if you go, there's a trail. It just goes around up there that you can walk. And there's a little sign about the park, little memorial up there. Yes. See, this would have probably been the uh, addition to the hospital. Hopefully that's coming out good. It's, I'll tell you what, it's hot out here and it is bright. Let me get a little closer. This, yeah, that back where we were in this part, this, this, this original part is just fantastic just fantastic look at the flagpole that sun's beating down but the flagpole with the bond man wow yeah look at that got the little uh hanging addition that comes out of there wow man look at that a little cul-de-sac kind of kind of deal a little roundabout yeah see if you got in there you go right through the front door right there. Yeah, look at that, man. Wow. That is just amazing. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. So they could have came through here, but I know they patrol. You got the neighbors that watch out. And uh, like I said, last time I was here, three, four times they came through here. Yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll walk over there now. Let's see what this sign says over here. At least I can show you a couple, couple signs. Very nice day. And I will say, if you come here, if you've never been here and you watch the video and you want to come out here, uh, pick a dry day because it gets wet. It gets super wet out here and muddy if you're walking around. 
let's see if they have a picture of the old building of what it looked like back in the day yeah i guess so yeah this is molly's uh state park stark park yeah see declining numbers in the 1950s closed in 1995 acquired by the state parks so you can get fresh air but yeah it looks nice there right like it really it looks it looks nice there but uh um look at that now man wow jeez all right like i said we're gonna walk over here and i'll show you the um i show you the kids hospital of this area ah the shade yeah we were walking around it was pure pure sunshine beating down on me but here this would have been the children's uh the children's portion of the uh tb hospital like i said there's tunnels there's tunnels that lead from over to the main hospital all the way over here so we'll walk around here and see what there is to see yep here's that yeah see there's no there's no fencing here like there is over there but somebody obviously took the wood down and wanted to get in but you got the ivy up there and I'm not going in there but see this is what i'm talking about right here is what it looks like inside here okay i'm not going to go in there but right there that's what you see when you go into these places the mildew falling stuff coming down the floors up i guess some of it's cool but it's it's probably more trouble than it's worth when you go inside some of these things and i always say i wish you could smell uh, i wish you could put smell on these videos and that was just pure mildew in there it was just pure mildew so yeah i wouldn't want to go in there you know what i mean but this was the children's portion and yeah look at the the architecture here you know like look at that right there i'm glad this is still here though i, I really am i'm glad it's still here got the like little leaf motif in there and these vines look at them vines wow yeah see the neighbors over there they could be watching you all the time and i'm not even gonna go in there i'm gonna walk around but there's another that would have been a, a door right there so this right here i know that sun's in a way this looks like it was like a, a main entrance right here for it you got the slate roof up there yeah i can't believe how overgrown this is last time i was here like you could see you could still see uh a lot of this but still same same spanish revival uh kind of look hmm. thought i heard a siren over there here's the side of the building got them little little small wheel uh windows right there i don't i don't think they'll ever clear this so maybe maybe in the fall if you would want to see this building a lot better maybe come in the fall because then the leaves wouldn't be there uh as much yeah so look at that it's just <laughs> talk about consumption right nature just consumed the front of that building yeah look at that you can't even see the building in the front wow
Yep, and then here we go. This would have been what the back that looks like it would have probably been the kitchen right there. Yeah, look at that. I, I like the, the slate roof. Probably was a bathroom right there because I see a vent stack. But look at the uh, look at that right there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's it. The, yeah, I mean it's it's you know they come back here and they cut they cut the grass and everything. Look at that tree. The branch comes down. Looks like that arc right there. And here's uh oh there's a little chipmunk that came out of there. Look at that emblem right there. Wow. Man, it is hot out here. Jeez. Yeah, there's another. They got all the emblems. So one, two, three. Now, yeah, there must have been some light decay. I don't know if those... Yeah, those were probably windows at one time, right? So, I think a lot of light would have came in on those. But here, see how people ripped this off. And, um, again, don't really want to go in there because... Uh, it just looks nasty it smells and uh you know for what windows are busted up there got the windows up there look just look at the vines that take over this place man here's look at there's a uh a shield up there and like these shell these seashell uh that one looks cool with the ivy. Again, there's that. I guess we can walk through, walk through this a little bit. Brick wall looks like there might have been something there at one time. And then here we are another door and they 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 all have those little flower shields over there and there's there's another side so it was yeah see and right here i told you i go into places but there's a no trespassing sign right there so i would love to go into these places i would i really would but you don't have to you don't have to go in there if i were to go in there and show you some of this stuff it would it would be dark and it would just be a bunch of trash thrown around, you know. I mean, some of the parts would be cool, don't get me wrong. But places like this, visit, document, take pictures, take videos, learn the history about it. You don't have to go in and uh, get yourself hurt or whatever. I know sometimes it's fun. Like I said, there's a few buildings I've been into that I shouldn't have. But uh, again, this one gets patrolled take that information and do what you want with it that building over there i i don't know maybe that was part of the powerhouse building i i'm not sure what that was but uh i don't know yeah so we're gonna be ending the video here um so that was the tour of the uh molly stark sanitarium park uh there's some people that maybe you didn't know that actually passed away from uh tuberculosis eleanor roosevelt a former first lady she she passed away from tb and not that i think it's funny it's ironic though that this is a sanitarium and her father, her father was in a sanitarium. He had a, he had a bad alcoholism disease and some other problems. He actually jumped out of a window uh, at one point. He didn't pass away from that uh, or anything like that. He didn't die from that. But um, 
yeah i thought that was kind of ironic for what we're talking about but yeah former first lady eleanor roosevelt andrew jackson andrew jackson was our seventh well the united states seventh president he passed away from tb george orwell george orwell was a novelist you should know that name and then lewis braille you might have heard his name um in one of my videos lewis braille invented the the braille system and i in one of my videos i did the braille trail it was in austin town go check that video out uh braille was a system used by the blind it was a series of bumps and such so that's uh he passed away from tb and one that maybe you may or may not know which is probably uh um the most interesting i would think to some people if you ever watched the movie tombstone you ever watched the movie tombstone wide herp there was somebody else in there that passed away from tb he was a real person that was doc holiday the famous gambler the famous gunslinger and a dentist a lot of people don't know he was a dentist he was a dentist but Doc Holliday, he was a real person, and he passed away from tuberculosis as well. So, man, this is this is really, really grim here. I wish that, like I said, I wish I could get in and show you the inside, especially like on some of those balconies and such. Um, that would be nice if they opened this up. Uh, for tours every now and again i don't think that's ever going to happen it's kind of it's probably kind of too dangerous inside too far gone but uh i think that is going to be the end of my video what better what a better way to spend my day off than to go to the sanitarium now can you imagine if they actually did clean this up and I think it was like millions of dollars to, to try to redo this and get it to the point where it would have been able to um, be usable again so that was a no go it was a no go but uh yep that's the end of the video watch it come out here and uh enjoy this and uh get some of that history in so man that's those vines those vines man so yeah i want to thank everybody for coming on today's adventure and uh hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you would i'd appreciate it leave a comment i read them all and i try to answer every one of them so i will leave you with until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be better